G'day guys, how are you going? Got another MT1 Adventure King camper in today. Love working on these things. This one is a customer of mine, his name's Phil. Now Phil is an ideas man. So he, he came and he wanted the Dometic sink cut in with um, a tap for hot and cold water, a hot plate installed as well, and also a dual cut and a barbecue sort of bayonet. So three bayonets in total and the other work, and he wanted to sort out that water thing that I showed you guys how to do. Bloody is out of crack, good on ya. Um, so he said to me, is it possible to get all the gas bayonets coming out of the, the gas locker more or less? I said, sure, there's no issue why we wouldn't be able to do that. And in fact, it saved a lot of time and work because most people wanted the hot water unit over the other side and that's why we have to run it underneath over to the other side. But there's no need for that. We could just all work in the one, one place. It's all protected and uh, yeah, really good. So anyway, I'll show you how it's all worked out and maybe you'd like to you know, get this sorted on your camper as well. Okay, so the Adventure Kings MT1 comes with a nine kilo bottle. They don't have gas regulators and anything like that. I think the main reason for that is if when when you have an LPG bottle, there's a like a, a zone there that you're not have not allowed to have any ignition sources. Okay, so you know flames, any of that sort of stuff, air cons, all that stuff. So it's very um, you know strict rules around that. And the measurement's about 500 above the bottle, 500 from the center, and then it goes down on an angle from about 1.5. So there's Big zone because you know LPG can rise and then it sinks. So you've got this big exclusion zone where you can't have any ignition sources. So I'm pretty sure if you say open the side of this up, okay, and you've got your um, you've got your gas cooker there cooking, you can see that it would be in in that ignition source zone, right? So that's probably why they don't put the regulator on there. Now, I feel one of the dual hot water systems on this side, so it's closer to the kitchen sink, so you're not running cold water for a little bit. Sort of thing. So the way it sits here, you wouldn't be allowed to use it because this, this hot water unit would be in the ignition source zone. So that's why we had to stick a lid on it, okay? Yeah, so I just made a, a lid out of some uh, three mil checker plate. Got a paint and stuff, right, with, with some uh, pinch weld on it. That's, that's all it is. And set up some uh, black aluminium that you get from Bunnings around here. And then all you gotta do is, do it, is just sort of wedge it in there, okay? Push it, Push it in. It locks, locks nicely, and you've got a, one of those toggle latches that goes on and locks it out. So there's no way the gas can get up, the vents are in the bottom, and so all this is not in the exclusion zone anymore. So you can use your cold water system safely without it you know, going in that ignition zone. So yeah, that's what we've done for that. That's got rid of a whole issue, a whole bunch of issues that you know that would have been there if, if you don't enclose this in. All right, so here are the three bayonets, all on top of each other, fits really nicely inside the box. So we just have to cut the old bottle holder out um, and then shift the new one, the 4.5, over a little bit so it could, so these bayonets, you know, the bulk of the bodies sit, sitting back in there so they won't get bumped or anything like that. Um, if you do cut them out with the angle grinder, this stuff is super hard, super hard to cut and it does give some fumes. So make sure you're in a very ventilated area and even got a fan blowing, which is even better, just to get it out and make sure you've got your dust mask when you're cutting that and installing the new, um, you know, the four. 4.5 kg bottle cradle on there. So yeah, all, all turned out pretty cool. And I'll just, uh, yeah, I'll show you how the kitchen sink and everything worked out. All right, I'll just show you the kitchen now. Now I am allowed to pull this uh, kitchen sink out without the fridge because it does have the coil in it. And you can you can see in there that the coil goes all the way back. It's, it's worth the sweat. Um, we'll just do this anyway. We'll take, take the whole light out so you can see. Okay, so come over here, you can see this is a Dometic sink that we installed. Super tight, guys, super tight to get it in here. Um, one thing we did have to do, there's a, there's a bar on the bottom, like the, um, the step that, that, that comes down, that, or the leg. I see. We just, you have to cut the, the, the centre beam out because it actually hits the uh, plug underneath, that's one of the things. And then we've got the hot and cold coming out the back, and I'll show you that, the cold's already connected. Okay, so here's the cold that comes out, that, that's already, and that's the, uh, the elbow, and that's screwed there to the back of this, the back of this, right? And this is the hot main here, okay? Um, that, that is connected to the, to the mixer. Uh, this is the gas, okay? So I'll show you how easy it is, say if you wanted to um, wash some dishes or something, you'll just grab the uh, hot water unit. Do the hot water unit. The first you gotta do is hook up the hot main, okay? So the hot goes onto the hot under there. 
And this is just the 8mm hose that you can get from Bunnings. Uh, if you want to know about these fittings, I've got another video on that. And that just pops in like this, okay? And so now that's connected to the hot main of the kitchen. Uh, I'll put a couple of these little clips in there. These are just for copper, and I thought they could just pop it on like that, just to keep it off the ground. Um, the other thing, now the stove, the hose can be stored in there, which is a great idea. So pick any bayonet you want. Pop the dust cover out. Pop it in. Right. And that just clips on. Right. So now you're connected to the gas. Again, this, this one here, you can just chuck in there. Hold it up there so it's like, like that. So when the pump is on, obviously, um, the uh, Adventure Kings come with one of these fittings, okay? So you can put that on too, so it goes to the hose. So hook your, hook your cold water on there first, and that will just pop into the little one that's already installed. And so now you've got cold water. So when you turn on your turn on the um, hot tap, it'll run through and go to the kitchen sink. And then you've just got the gas, the gas pipe. So again, pick a bayonet that you feel like it, that goes in like this. Okay, pop it under here. That's your jaw all hooked up, ready to go. No way that the gas can get up there, so you can just light it all and use it that way. Now, if you want to have a shower, it's very easy. Just unplug the, unplug the cold so it stops the water flowing through it. Then just unplug your hot, hot main, then you can plug your shower in and run it over to your, to your, your shower tent or whatever. So super easy to pack up um, and get rid of all the hoses and stuff. Same with the bayonets and everything. They can always plug out and plug really easily. Make sure you put your dust plugs back in. Hot, hot water, same thing. Pack it off. These easy come out. Same with that. Come out. Yeah, and then just, you just got to roll up your hoses. Great idea, Phil. I think um, it's probably the best, best bayonet, bayonet setup we've ever done, I think. Uh, for ease, ease for us anyway. Um, so just make sure if you if you want to have this bayonet set up or you know with a regulator, make sure that the top is sealed nicely like that. Okay. Um, I've done one of these before, but um, the lady was she lives up in Crafts. It was all rush, and I, I didn't have a chance to paint it or anything. It doesn't take too long to paint it, mate. About 15, 20 minutes. Give it a couple of paints, and then when all the finish rub goes on, yeah, it looks pretty sweet. So, alright, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you later.